right, guys. We are down the street. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Don't even worry about it. It's all family here. So we are down the street from the Jack Daniels uh, hardware store where we bought our chair and rocking chair. And we're going to the Barrel House, Barrel House Barbecue. We uh, are going to check out their barbecue. I was going to go to another one around the corner. There was one right around the corner. But Paul's like, no, no, no. This is the one. Huh? Okay, so we came into your place. You and we saw you over on the patio. And my buddy Paul's like, uh, he's like, hey, that's the owner over there. I'm like, okay, that's cool. And then you came over kind kind as ever, and I appreciate it. So kind of my family. What's your name? Chuck. Baker. Chuck? Yeah. And Chuck, can you tell me, uh, we are at the uh, Barrel House Barbecue, and it's right next to J Jack Daniel's uh, hardware store. Yes. Sir. Right next door. And we're about ready to eat your barbecue. Yes, sir. And uh, so talk to me. Give me the history. What happened? How did this get started? Uh, well, I opened up three years ago, April 7th, coming up. Thank you all very much, guys. Um, I went through a divorce. Yeah. You know, I've been a brick mason my whole life, and I just wanted to do something different. And uh, you knew it was right this spot was going to oh, be it. Yeah. yeah, this was a laundromat when I was a kid. <laughs> a laundromat when you were a kid, really? Yeah. Well, it's a lot better now. I'd rather eat barbecue than wash clothes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. And uh, so what is your favorite? Everybody has a favorite like mine. I'm a pulled pork guy and a rib and a, a rib guy. Oh, yes. Yeah. What's your favorite out of all of it? Honestly, man, I don't eat barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> That's classic. I, I, I cook so much that, that uh, I just, I mean, I, eat, I test it, but I don't eat much. But if you're going to eat here... Uh, the ribs, pulled pork. Uh, if you're gonna get the pulled pork, I suggest the grilled cheese on crack or the crack jack. And all it is is it's a grilled cheese with pulled pork and my habanero sauce. That's and a crack jack. It's, not, it's my number one seller. And well, my name's Jack, so uh, I gotta yeah. I gotta get a crack jack. It's your number one seller. And then you were telling me that you just started uh, bottling your own sauce. Yes. Very cool. You you're pretty excited about it. Oh, I am excited. I've already sold a lot of it. Really? Do you? So everybody like takes it home after they eat here, right? Yeah, yeah. And this one you want me to try because I'm insane, and it's the Scorpion Ghost Barbecue. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Take your time. That's the phone. It's uh, all right. Let me I'm going back to the iPhone. Okay. So here. All right. Well, what's that smile on your face? Nothing. Paul, Paul has a Cheshire cat. Right, hold on. I'm just gonna take a, a little bit. What's your first name again? Chuck. Chuck. All right, Chuck. Chuck, here we go. Okay, the fact that everybody around me has got like on the verge of laughter, it means this thing is not gonna be nice. So it's not hot, man. It's not hot. It's not hot. All right. It's good. It's a good hot. It's a good hot. You did a good balance. Okay, everybody. I really like this. It's completely different. You know how mine's like kind of a thick and sweet. This has got a tangy heat and sweet. It's all in one bottle. Really, really good. There's the information if you guys want to pause the video. If you want to order a bottle, I'm telling you. It, if you want really mouth burning hot, this ain't it. If you like the heat, you like fun heat, this is perfect. All right, so I'm gonna scan this here. These are the appetizers. Barbecue nachos, beautiful. Look at a ribeye steak, are you kidding me? Nice. Very cool. There's the uh, little sponsors for the menu. And then over here, I'm going to show you the sandwiches. Once again, if you guys want to see anything, just pause the video. And you can take a look slowly at the menu. It's a huge, huge menu. Cheese on crack. And that's what I, right there. got to show them the disclaimer. No actual crack was used in the making of the sandwich. That's good to know. Cool. This. So you were on Barbecue Pitmasters, the show. Yeah. And voted in top five best barbecue 2014. Congratulations, man. This is the end of my second year. Right now we're at the end of my third year. This happened last year. All right, so here we go. So I got my, I got my pulled pork grilled cheese. Pepper jack cheese. Wow, a lot of meat in there. That's beautiful. Okay. And remember now, barbecue places usually don't put sauce. They usually smoke everything, and if you want sauce, you can. Oh my gosh. Jack, what did you get? Oh, uh, I got the pulled pork and ribs. You got pulled pork. Nice, beautiful. And then can you bring the ribs over so I can see them? Thank you. Wanna see the ribs? Look how beautiful those ribs are. Nice. And ribs. And then, uh, there you go. And Tammy, what'd you get? I got a chicken salad. 
A chicken salad that's mm-hmm. obviously smoked too. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. What'd you get, dude? Got a steak sandwich. A steak sandwich. Yeah. Look nice. Good. Give yeah. it a try. Yeah. All right, cool. Okay. So first of all, I'm just gonna try it just like this, smoked. It's very tender. Really good. So let me try this. Let me try this cheese, the grilled cheese. Here, Jack. Jack gets half my time, by the way. We're sharing everything. Here you go, buddy. Oh, okay, let me just show you that. Can you see that? That's dripping. That's dripping moisture. Pepper jack cheese. You see the seasoning in there. All that full pork. Here you go, buddy. Try that. Be careful, it's hot. All right, here we go. There is no no shortage of meat in here. I'm very impressed. Mmm. Mmm. I know why this is a bestseller. The OZ of the Grave. So good. Okay, buddy, go ahead and grab a rib. Don't burn your hands. Yeah. Okay. I still lost a bit of meat there. Yeah, the meat's still here. It's a good chunk right here. Look, right here. Oh, so you got some? Some meat right there. All right, give it a bite. Look at it come right off the bone perfectly. That's how I like it. I like it to come right off the bone, but not fall off the bone. That's truly that's how you're supposed to be. All right, so what do you think? <coughs> awesome. Awesome? Yeah. It's really good. Nice. Smoked, uh, seasoned perfectly. Yep. Just comes right off the bone perfectly, like you said. Wow. Beautiful. Okay, so check this out. Looks like this is where all the... Oh, look, he's got all these tables outside. Okay, so that's where all the magic... That's the smokehouse, huh, Paul? Yep. That's where all the magic happens, dude. Let's go in there. You want to go in there? Yeah, let's go. No, we can't. Why? I'll ask if I can go in there and film. Take pictures. No, I'd rather not. i better not. Oh, look at the barrels, though. Look at that. Everything is so Jack Daniels here, dude. Oh, look at the creek down there. There's a creek down there, too? Uh-huh. Dude, the country is so awesome. All right. Okay. So so the owner, Chuck's letting us come in here and look. Oh, yeah, guys. Oh, my goodness. We are what? what, what it I smells do. awesome in here, dude. Yeah, yeah. What I do, man, is I put on 32 butts a night. I got I cook 16 butts on each of these block fields. Right now, we oh. chickens and ribs going. Hold me up, Paul. I'm passing out. Well, we're kind of old school. I use uh, cowboy charcoal, lump charcoal, and to get the wood, the, the oh smoke, gosh. I use barrel wood. It's brown house barbecue. Serious? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Nice. That's what I smoke with. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's gorgeous. And it's working. Talk to me, dude. All right. Well, I, I, have, to, I have to take a minute because I can't quite talk right yet because I'm still taking in that smoke from the smokehouse. Oh. oh, my gosh. That was so good. <laughs> And the fact that they use actually the barrel, you can actually smell the the the, the whiskey that's been set into those barrels is really weird. I mean, it smelled really, really phenomenal. Steak sandwich I had was excellent. It had a great smoke flavor to it. Um, wasn't fatty. Um, there was a little bit, but not too much. Um, it was that's perfectly, flavor. Yeah, no, exactly. But it was like perfectly round for that bun. It's like they set on the bun and cut it off, but they really didn't. It was just perfect how it worked out. Um, great combination. The tomatoes are fresh, onions, lettuce. I mean, it was just really good. I took my time eating it because I just want to kind of enjoy it and savor it. Um, definitely give it up there. Um, it's, unfortunately, this isn't my first time here, um, but it was your Jack, your and your family's first time here. Um, it's always my go-to when I'm at my property in Lynchburg and I want to go get something to eat, and this is where I go. So definitely, it's a great place. I'll be back time and time again. Okay, dude, talk to all the teenagers who may not be flipping over barbecue like I flip over barbecue. What do you say about this place? Um, it was really good. I still got some meat in my teeth that I'm going to be saving for later. And, <laughs> that's, such uh, a, that's such a country comment, dude. <laughs> but the ribs were really good. The, the grilled cheese was the best part. The cheese just, like, stuck to the pulled pork. And it was awesome. It was almost like you didn't need sauce, but you put it on there anyway because the sauce was that good. And we brought, we brought home a bottle, right? Yeah, we brought home a bottle. We're going to experiment with that bottle, make some good stuff with it. <laughs> Mess you up. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make it short and sweet. The ribs tell everything about the place, okay? 
The outside was crispy, the inside was moist, pulled perfectly off the bone, it didn't fall off the bone, and the smoke level was perfect, it wasn't too much. That was some of the best smoke I've smelled in my life. He's using the barrels, they're amazing. This place is amazing, love it. Now Chuck's gonna walk up to your table, he walks up to everybody, not just me because I'm filming, not because somebody else is special, everybody's special here. When you come here, be ready, you're gonna meet the owner, he's gonna come up to your table. How you doing? Yeah, he really cares. This is a guy who runs his place the way everybody should run their place. All right, got to check it out, guys. There you go, right here in Lynchburg. If you come see Jack Daniels, be sure to eat at the barbecue place right behind me. Great place. And it's the Barrel House, of course. Barrel House Barbecue. See you on the next episode. Bye-bye.